If you are a long-term subscriber or a first-time viewer, consider purchasing your Christmas cards from my Etsy shop this year. You'll be supporting an artist who has put thousands of hours into hundreds of free tutorials rather than a huge corporation. As always, thank you for your likes, comments, and for viewing my videos every week. Hello everybody and welcome to another watercolor painting. Today's uh, landscape painting is inspired by this photo that was taken of my husband and I on our honeymoon in the Quebec mountains. It was um, just the most magical week. Uh, spending time in nature, very much needed time together and just appreciating um, the surrounding environment during one of the most beautiful times of the year in my opinion. The colors were just absolutely blossoming and popping and I'm very thankful to have experienced that week with my new husband. Um, but anyways, I will be recreating that photo or like rather the landscape of that photo uh, in today's painting and I wanted to chat a little bit about uh, the importance of base layers because a lot of my landscape photos or nature landscape photos um, they kind of at the beginning look like a four-year-old painted them uh, even if you're you know watching me paint this in real time right now it's um, it looks very blotchy and it just looks like these huge, um, I don't know, I guess circles or blotches of paint. But I think it's super, super important to get down your base colors and just get a base layer down on your piece of paper. It makes the entire painting much less intimidating when you have sort of a, like a, a grid to go off of. Like you know that, okay, this is blue because this is going to be water, this is green because this is where I'm going to be painting more detailed shrubs and trees, um, these are my, you know, autumn mountains, this is my sky. It really helps you, I, I, get, I guess, get started on your painting uh, because when I look at certain photos, sometimes I get a little bit intimidated because instead of looking at the bigger picture, I look at all the tiny details. I look at every single leaf and every single branch and every ripple in the water instead of looking at the painting like a geometric pattern. Like, oh, these mountains are sort of triangular shaped. This lake is one long kind of narrow log. And once you start thinking of your painting in terms of shapes and blotches of color, it becomes a lot more attainable to paint complicated looking paintings. Like you you saw what these mountains looked like literally one minute one minute ago. They were just triangular blotches. But when you have that base layer down, it gives you the freedom to add those details without needing to fill every single you know square millimeter of space. If you didn't have a background uh, or a base layer to go off of, then you would just have a bunch of white space that you would somehow have to fill up. But be because you have a base layer or even multiple base layers, you have the freedom to add details where you want to add them without being stressed out that you need to cover every little inch of space. So here you can see on both sides, the both bottom corners of the painting, I just applied a whole bunch of color. There's just blotches of green and orange and red and yellow um, since this was an autumn painting. And this gave me the freedom to, for example, on the left side, only paint two pine trees. And it still looks kind of decent. It's it's just because I'm, I'm using the power of uh, base layering and creating these layers of color that inevitably create together this beautiful masterpiece. And here you can see I also added some blades of grass on the um, edge sort of bordering the lake and also coming onto the pathway and I wouldn't have been able to do that or at least it wouldn't have looked super realistic 
if I didn't have a base layer of brown there on that path because it would have just been white and then I would have had to somehow cover that with color um, having already applied details and then I'd have to redo those details so again this just reiterates the importance of base colors and base layers and just you know plopping down blotches of color knowing that you're going to go over those with more details that are just going to in the end um, create this beautiful painting and this beautiful masterpiece so as another example here my painting i mean i could have stopped where I, where uh where i ended up without painting these uh you know thin branched trees with the leaves but i thought hey why not add another little pop of intensity here and add some thin trees just growing from from each side and adding these trees and adding the little uh, pops of color from the leaves just intensified the painting and, and added another layer of depth and another layer of detail and it even that takes away takes the viewer's eyes away from perhaps the lack of detail on either side of uh, of the painting Anyways, I'm going to stop ranting. I think you understood the importance of base layering and base colors. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it, and I will see you in next week's video.